honest, I'm a little disappointed at the selection of puzzles here. Um, really not as much as I expected. We have a Seiko here, 1,000 piece. Oh, this is a big masterpiece collection. This is beautiful. It has an easel included in it? Interesting. I guess that's to hold up the box. This is really pretty. It's $20 though. Got another one here at the farmhouse. I've never seen sets that include an easel for your box. I find that interesting, but I guess that makes it just a little bit easier to see what you're looking at. They're very pretty sets. $20 is a little more than what I would like to pay for today, if I get anything. They do sell puzzle glue, some puzzle mats, a random bin under here with some extra puzzles from Seiko. It looks like Michaels only carries a very small collection of brands. So far, I only see Masterpieces in Seiko. We got Childhood Dream Series from Masterpieces. Let's see this one. That one's really cute as well. We got the flashback series and we do have some disney puzzles here but at 12.99 that's a little more expensive than what i usually pay for seco puzzles that's pretty i don't have that one i have that one in the back mm, again not much of a selection we also have these shaped puzzles which basically they're not like a square or a rectangle shape but i mean that's pretty cool again 12.99 this is much this is more expensive than what I would pay at a Walmart. What? They're pretty sets though. Why? We got some here if you're into dogs or animals from the selfies collection from Seiko. Those are pretty. Though personally, I'm not really into animal puzzles. It's probably not a very popular opinion, but that's just my personal preference. I'm really not into animal puzzles. They are pretty though. Then we have these Trenzy puzzles from masterpieces these are 300 easy grip large puzzle pieces that's nice those are 9.99 oh sushi i'm short so i can't reach the rest and sets from the tv time series from masterpieces another one there and again, $12.99. The prices here are more expensive than what I pay in other stores for the same brand. So really, this is all that they have here. So I don't know. Let's go check somewhere else. Oh, look, I found more puzzles, but they're at the very top shelf, which is completely useless because um, I can't reach. Let's see if we can zoom in. Oh, we got some interesting ones up there, some 2,000 piece puzzles, but ooh, I can't tell what that Disney one is. That's only 400 piece, but well, it's a little too high for me. And then you have these here, which are also very high. I cannot reach those, but again, more Seiko and Masterpieces. So, eh, kind of a poor selection, really. Honestly, this is a small Michaels location. We actually came here to pick up some sewing supplies and they don't even have half the things we need. So this was kind of a bust, but it's nice to know what they have or don't have really. Let's go check out what Target has, probably more than what they have here. Kind of like the typical Seiko. They have buffalo. Nothing really I haven't seen before. Oh, that's a pretty Charles Wasaki one. Oh, that's cute. Look at all those pumpkins. That's a nice Seiko one. That's pretty. We have a puzzle here from what looks to be the brand Empowered. Oh no, it's by Puzzles of Color, I think. It's a nice image. It's not really my style, but. I don't know. Again, some more random images here. Oh, that's pretty. Night and day puzzles. I think I have one of those at home. That's another night and day one. That's really pretty. I actually have this one at home, but I think it's actually a 1500 piece that I have. I don't know. This I might even only have this at 750. This one I actually completed and did for Christmas. 
And if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link down below. Oh, we have one from Amy Stewart here. That's really pretty. There's another Amy Stewart image here. But quite a number of them, actually. Oh, I really like this Charles Wasaki image. Look at that. That little old couple here. That's probably me and my husband in the future. And our 50 random cats. And a dog. And some chickens. Oh, this is my retirement. Oh, we got a nice Mulan image here. I don't actually think I have this one. This is $7.50, but again, I'm really, I really don't want to spend a lot of money on puzzles at this point from brands that I already have quite a number of. I'm really just trying to look for things that I don't have. Oh, that's pretty though. I love this image. Look at all those houses. Now we have some of these 1,000 piece Seiko puzzles that are easy, they're called easy hold, easy to hold, larger sized pieces for easier handling. This is nice. This is a 30 by 24 image. So yeah, these are pretty significantly large pieces and that's the actual piece size. So this is great if you don't like working with really small pieces or if you have a time working with those. This is a nice Snow White image, but again, it's Seiko. I'm not feeling Seiko right now. Well, they have another one of these easy to hold puzzles here. That's a beautiful image. You know that's my house. Oh look, that's my cat Gizmo. All right, these two I already have. We have a marble. These are getting more into the 500 piece sets. 1000 piece Pokemon. What's this one? Oh, that's fun. This is, now this is Mickey and Minnie in Mexico. That is so cool. This gives me Epcot vibes for some reason. I love this one. I don't know, that's tempting. Hmm, they actually do have quite a number of Disney ones. Hmm, I have that one already. Mulan I do not have, that's tempting. Oh my God, look at that. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Oh wow, this would be really hard to do. This one is called Mickey and Minnie Sweetheart Bridge. Oh, I love this one. Um, the only other brand I see here is Spin Masters, which, I mean, I'm not a huge Scrabble person. Eh, not feeling it, not feeling it. And then down here is just more 500 piece puzzles. That's fun. Look at that. What brand is this? Oh, it's a Gallison. Interesting. This is fun. Oh, how much are you? Oh, this is tempting. This is something I don't have. And it's only 500 pieces. This could be a quick one. I mean, I think. This looks pretty challenging with all the rides in the background, but that looks fun. Hmm, that could be a maybe. I don't know. For some reason, these Gallisons are open. The bag is in front and the poster. It has a poster, so I don't know. We shall see. I'm going to have to price check this one. I have been wanting to pick up a Gallison puzzle, so that is a huge possibility. Let's see. We have more of the same Disney ones here. These are pretty much repeats at this point. Oh, look at this tangled one. That's beautiful. Oh, I love that. These night and day ones are really pretty. I love the use of colors here. It's so vibrant. That's really nice. We have something here from the African American Expressions, and I think this is actually the name of the company or brand. This is interesting. Phenomenal Women, 500 pieces. That's cool. That's a big piece size as well. Interesting. That's something to look more into. And then down here, we kind of just have some sets thrown in. It's kind of a, this is kind of a disaster down here. I don't think I can really pinpoint anything specific. These are more like smaller piece puzzles and some tubes filled with puzzles. Interesting. It's kind of a big mess. But that's pretty much it. Anything that's behind the boxes is basically repeats. So I don't know. Ooh, this is nice actually, but I kind of have these already. I hate how they make these sets where they kind of have the same puzzles in different ones. So it doesn't really give you like a variety. I don't know. It's strange the way they do these four four set boxes we have star wars oh wow look at that thomas kincaid that is beautiful this is 2000 pieces what brand is this Seiko. oh my god this is super fun 
Hawaiian Food Truck Festival, a 2000 buffalo piece set. This is awesome. That looks fun. I want to be there. I want to be partying. I love food trucks. Got another one of these Seiko sets here, but I have a couple of those sets already in bigger count puzzles. And the rest here, eh, I don't know. Nothing, nothing too interesting aside from that Hawaiian food truck festival. That one's really cute. Don't know how much it is though. I'm not seeing a price. It might be $15.99, but everything is such a mess here. I can't really tell. Anyways, let's figure out. I don't know. I doubt there's any more puzzle sets anywhere. This seems to be pretty much it, but other than that, I don't know. We shall see. Well, I still don't know if I'm going to pick up anything from here. So, I don't know. I keep saying so. I don't know what to do. Anyways, guys, let's get out of here. All right, so we're back home now. And as I was changing into my house clothes, I couldn't really stop thinking about how kind of poor the selection was at Michael's. But then again, I don't really know what I was expecting. For some reason, I kind of thought that it was going to be as grand of a selection like there is at Hobby Lobby. But as you saw, that wasn't the case. Which is fine. I'm not mad about it. I'm glad that I know now. Now, let me know down below if any of you have shopped at a Michaels for puzzles in particular. Does your location have a better selection than what mine has? Or is it just the same or worst? Does it even have one? It may very well just be, you know, not the greatest place to shop for puzzles in general. But anyways, I did stop by at Target, as you saw afterwards, and they had an okay selection, and they definitely had more of a variety with brands. Now, also let me know down below if you like to shop at Target for your puzzle sets. And if you do, does your location have a bigger selection than what mine does? Because I'm pretty sure in the past, my location used to have a much bigger selection or pretty much, I remember there being multiple areas within the store that had puzzle sets and it's just that one little area now. So I don't know, are they like doing away with puzzles or something or they just don't care about them anymore? I'd be curious to know what your location is like. But anyways, unsurprisingly, I didn't buy anything at Michael's, but I did pick up a couple of sets from Target that caught my eye. And the first one that I picked up is called Summer Amusement Park. It is 500 pieces and it is 20 by 20 inches when it's completed. Now I'm seeing two company names here. I see Good Puzzle Co. And I see that this is by Gallison, which now that I look at the back of the box, it does say that it is manufactured by Gallison. So I'm guessing you would consider this a Gallison puzzle, right? Good Puzzle Co. looks to be Good Puzzle Co. I, I don't know, actually. Is that the name of the collection or the series by Gallison? I'm not quite sure where to find this information on this box. Oh, I see here now. It says designs. I'm guessing the design of the puzzle or the image itself is by Good Puzzle Company. Honestly, I don't know. If I'm totally wrong, please let me know down below and set me straight, please. But anyways, I absolutely love this image. And aside from the fact that this puzzle basically checked the box of, you know, being from a brand that I don't currently own, the image is fantastic. There is nothing I love more than going to amusement parks. I absolutely love the artwork in this image. It's super colorful, it looks fun, and I love how not only did he show the rides, but look, he's got some food stalls as well. I don't know what I love more about amusement parks, the rides or the food. And you know that I'm in this image here, because look, there I am waving to you. Look at that dog! He's dressed up like a shark, that's so cute! You know what, while you're letting me know down below what your Michaels and Targets are like, Feel free to share with me what's your favorite thing about amusement parks. Do you like the food? Do you like the rides? Could you care less about amusement parks? You know me. You know where I wish I was right now. I'd do anything to be at Disney World right now. And Universal too. This will probably satisfy my like amusement park jollies while I'm, you know, putting it together. Oh, but then again, I am going to Hershey Park in a couple of months, so that'll be fun. I'm pretty sure whilst I'm there, I'll be scoping the gift shops and seeing what new puzzles have arrived. No. I have to stop. Now please hit that like button if you are trying to not buy puzzles every time you walk into a store like me. Look, honestly, I really shouldn't have bought these two puzzles today 
because, uh, you know, times are rough and I really need to get serious about budgeting. But you know what? I'm not going to think about that right now because for one, I've already bought the puzzles. So let's just enjoy them. Anyways, the next one that I got is, you're going to be surprised because I kind of did say that I wasn't going to buy this brand. But then I was like, you know what? I changed my mind. Silly me, the next puzzle that I bought is by Seiko. And the name of this puzzle just looks to be Disney Princess, but it's obviously Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. But anyways, this is 1,000 pieces and it is 30 inches by 24 inches when it's completed. Now, I know you're saying, why did you buy Seiko? You said you weren't gonna buy Seiko anymore for a while. What's your problem? Well, I'll tell you what my problem is. What caught my eye with this one, aside from the fact, as I had said, I've really been itching to buy a Disney puzzle. Yeah, it's not Thomas Kincaid, but it's still Disney. What caught my attention with this particular set was that this is from the easy to hold sets. So these are larger sized pieces for easier handling. And Target did have a number of these particular sets, but of course I had to go with the Disney one. Even though the other ones, now that I think of it, were a lot prettier. Anyways, now I know you're probably like, whatever, easy to hold. But the reason why I wanted to try this from Seiko was because I'm very curious to see if there's any difference in terms of how these puzzles fit together. Do they feel different? Do they hold um, together much better than what they do with the other basic Seiko sets? Because you know, I always have issues with like loose fits and popping pieces. So this was more of, you know, I was, I was just a little curious. I want to see if this is going to be any different compared to the other Seiko sets. I mean, who knows? It might still suck. I don't know. But at least I can say, hey, I tried it, right? But anyways, aside from wanting to experiment with these kind of pieces, I mean, it's Snow White. It's a fantastic image. You pretty much have your typical scene here of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Everyone looks to be having a really good time, I think. I mean, I don't know, really. Sneezy looks like he's having an allergy attack. Doc and Bashful seem to be staring into space. Sleepy looks bored out of his mind. And I don't know, what the heck? Snow White doesn't even seem to be paying attention to the dwarves. She seems to be more interested in the animals. But anyways, aside from all that, what I don't seem to understand is why does no one seem to notice that the evil queen or that witch in the background is kind of creeping on them? I mean, not even the animals notice. What's going on here? And Grumpy stood right in front of her. That's kind of careless. But anyways, aside from that, this is a fantastic image. I, I love it. It's just like watching the movie. I'll probably have the movie playing in the background while I put this together. So this is going to be fun. I love Disney puzzles. There's, I can't have a bad Disney puzzle. But yeah, those are the two sets that I picked up today. Small haul, but you know what? It's better than nothing, right? Even when times are rough. But again, it's always nice to treat yourself every once in a while. So if any of you guys have any of these puzzle sets, or if you happen to have any puzzles by Gallison or any of these easy to hold ones, let me know down below what your experience has been like. And if you want, let me know which image or set that you did because I kind of like to look them up and see what you guys have been working on. Now, if you want to see me put these sets together or any of the other tons of puzzle sets that I have, be sure to subscribe if you're new here. Well, guys, thank you all for watching. Hope all is well, and I will see you in the next one.